Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the secrets, easter eggs, and everything else you want to need, you may want to know in Nightlord RPG's Empire 2 Trojan Veil. And also my girlfriend's here on the floor because she wants to play since 4. How are you doing? Hey! So I'm doing great. That's good. Yeah, you probably weren't expecting me to make a video, so how are you doing? Hey! I'm doing <laughs> great! I'm in on all his videos. He's stuck with me. Yes, he yeah, I am. So, yeah, that being said, it's up Brian. But before we begin, if you guys want to have a look at this game with yourself and take a look at the Easter eggs and secrets and everything else like that, then be sure to join the serve link, the link down to the, to the, okay, the link to the <laughs> video, the link to the game will be in the description below. So that being said, it's up Brian. So, yeah, I'm, I am currently in the progress of reworking this game a bit uh, with its whole system and everything, but we'll go over, but that'll, that's the story for another day. Anyway, it's up Brian to the first start of um, the... Easter eggs and secrets. For those who don't know, Georgiaville currently has about 32 worlds, or about over 30, about a bit over 30 worlds. Um, so it's a bit longer than, than Nightland itself, but it's still uh, pretty well. But it's overall, and it kind of has some the not mess, not really the best areas. So I was revamping it all, all, all the way back in March. So, but I kind of stopped that because March was going to be meant, meant was only meant to have updates regarding Nightland. Or regarding Georgia Bill's revamp. So yeah, anyways, I'm um, Brian. So first so let's start with the first Easter egg. You probably can already see it by now, and that's right, the Consense icon itself. Yeah, Consense made his map, as you can tell you by yourself. So basically Consense made his map, and of course many other map you he's made in the past, you'll be, you'll know that he basically spawns, that he basically had his own signature. And would you look at that, we got a boss on our hands. So this is another Easter egg too that you may have not seen before. Glow Drift does spawn in this cave with these two swords. You probably have seen this, but in case you haven't, there's another secret for an Easter egg for you. So, yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty much not really nothing new. So, uh, there's Trojan for you on that one. So, next I'm moving on to is not the Elker Forest. Elker Forest doesn't have any. Elker Orklands doesn't have any. Well, I mean, it does have a sewer boss and stuff. Uh, it does have a boss in there, but I will, since many people have been asking, where does the boss spawn in here? And a lot of people can totally understand why a lot of people don't understand where hell's. Is that but he basically spawns right over there in that small corner right there it's really dark and he's dark himself so he's also pretty dark too so that's basically why he he, he spawn he doesn't respond there much so what, is yeah. he dark enough to be a ghost eh, not like the shadow oblivion but much like that i guess <laughs> more so just um let's say for instance uh he's like his skin's really really dark green and it fits well dark land so yeah oh, wow. <laughs> yes. I mean, and, and come on, it's green. It's my color. Yes, green. Hair color. <laughs> Be to be Queen 16, by the way. So, yeah. Okay, that's... So, there's nothing really... So, that's basically the Elker Forest, Elker Orklands for you. Um, Elker, Tree of the Undergrounders, doesn't have much of a boss, but there is a... There is a... The Mega Boss Elephant does spawn there. Um, he basically spawns behind one... Behind, behind the large tree, which would be... That's the only tree should be there, so... Yeah, moving on to Woods of Light. The Woods of Light doesn't really have many, doesn't have any, have any big, it doesn't have much of a uh, secret saying we have the Georgia Reveal Treat number one. I mean, I guess I will go over one secret though. I mean, I guess it does have one secret if you know what I'm saying. So, that one secret is the Mega Boss Spawn. The Mega Boss Spawn spawns in one of the corners here. Um, so, he spawns in that corner right there. So, he's pretty hard to find, but you'll probably find him eventually. So, yeah, and guess what? We also got we also got Me. the yep, that's you. <laughs> we also got the statue of themselves. We got Lost, Lost Straggler. We got Troy Reese. We got Wayne Coast Seven Three. And we got O C One Five. So that's cool. And okay, moving on. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> that's where he spawns. <laughs> well, you're we're gonna, gonna be here forever, aren't you? Yes. Okay, so that's basically that's the base of the Mega Boss spawns over there. So. Um, that's basically it, but no, that's basically much all there is to Georgia Bell Treat, so. Georgia Bell Treat number one. What's that type of sword? Oh, this is one of the, uh, the one, the boss, when the boss, the super boss got from Corrupted X Scrambler. So good. Okay, thanks for that compliment. <laughs> so, Gumley Camp Zone doesn't have any, doesn't have much of a secret. Alamo Grove does have a bit of a secret itself, too, because Alamo Grove and Frost Boar's Cave were made by yours truly, Confin, so. Uh, Confence does have himself some Easter eggs here, so you probably know this first one already. If you look, look real close to it, you'll notice it's literally engraved right in the concrete. N the, the, in the tree. The leaves, yes, that's right. So, and then there's me right there. Why do you have me there? I have no damn clue, but that's him for you. So, <laughs> he basically trapped me in this goddamn piece of rock rubble, so there's that at least. He trapped my man! 
Yes, he trapped me. There you have it. So You're in prison. I'm going to come bail you out immediately. I go up that stuff. The only thing you really need are acorns. I mean, I don't think you have much acorns. Oh, wait, you already do it because you're nuts. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, of course. So, yeah, that's basically the Animal Grove for you. Um, there's also a boss, a mega boss that spawns all the way up on this tree. A lot of people didn't know where he spawned, and they saw a tree, and it's like, where the hell does he spawn? He spawns right on this tree, so we're good. So don't worry, guys. He's, he's good, so. Just climb the roots, and you'll find him. Yes, exactly. Next up, moving on to, is the Frosted Forest Cave. Frosted Forest Cave is has a bit of a couple secrets too, a lot of much like many, much like Animal Grove. For starters, um, the first thing we're just gonna go up right on top, and you notice that we so basically the first thing, and also damn it, it's been a while since I've been here. So <laughs> the Animal Grove is, or no, the winter, the Frosted Forest Cave is, uh, it has a, a couple secrets. You're gonna need a bit of parkour in order to get there. You basically need to go up here, then go up. here. Here and you should be there. I can barely see a damn thing in this thing. If I can get to it. Wait, why on? Is this even it? Um, oh yeah, this is it. Yeah. Okay, I was right. So basically, this is where the boss spawns here. The I believe. Are you spawn. walking on glass or ice? Yeah, walk on ice. So this is where he spawns. It's called I believe the the ice is crystallineness. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's hope you don't crack through the glass. Yeah. Ice. So. ice. And then there's another Easter egg right down here, where basically you'll see, that's right, Conathan's name once again. So that's him for you. And also we got the Abominable Snow Jester, so that's about it for Frost <laughs> Abominable Cave. Snow Jester. Frost. Imagine that actually being a real thing. So next up is Sakara Cliff. Sakara so Cliff so has a bit of an interesting, has a bit of an interesting uh, Easter egg itself. It's actually something that you is probably... Is it like a Chinese area? Yeah, it's basically like a Chinese area, basically. So I recognize by the pools. I've seen those in Chinese places. Yes. Yeah, so, but basically, this is basically so basically there's a huge secret that you probably might like. Well, you probably might not like it, so you don't. Like, come pay. on, you see those in Kung Fu Panda for real? Yeah, for real, for real. So basically, this area here has a bit of a secret, and actually has its own secret too. So I'm probably gonna go over that in this video. So it's basically gonna be too long. I would go over this in another video, but considering you guys probably want to see everything you want to know in Empire Two, then I'm gonna go over it. So let's hop right in. So. So basically, yes, indeed. Yes, for real. Oh my god. So, that's right. Empire 2 has a bit of a secret. I'm probably going to go ahead and get my most best armor yet. Um, so, yeah, also still have this still feature. You probably might have seen it earlier. So, yeah. And oh my god, my hair is falling off. <laughs> Jesus. I have so much hair. Yes, so, you do. Yeah, that's. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. <laughs> so, that's Almo Grove for you. Oh, no, no. So, it's this car close. So, basically, go behind this, this, this fence over here. You'll see something in particular that's called a Sakara Dream. And a Sakara Dream, you're wondering, where the hell is that? Well, simply go up here and you'll see his heart here. So. Heart, symbol of dreams. Yes, and if you touch this heart, you'll be directed to. Wait for it. If it'll work. Sakara Dream! So this is Sakara Dream right here. Don't ask why Samuel's on there. Samuel, well, that's what most recent update. So this is Sakara Dream right here. And basically, you have to walk all the. So basically, you got Sakasta over here, who's the first mega, who's the last mega boss. Oh, the last two boss of this area, and it's a car dream for you. So, and then that's a portal to the area, if I'm correct. So, yeah, it's a huge ass area, and you basically need to find a sword. And if you guys want to have a look at that, you guys got to go to the link down below where you'll be looking. We'll uh, basically give a full guide on how to find the sword. So, yeah, pretty cool. I am. We're just going to leave you now so that we don't have to worry about you later. So goodbye, Sakasta. See you in the Trojanville caverns, I guess. So. You can take me back now. Okay, good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's basically Sakara Cliffs for you. Or Sakara Dream. So, um, we're just going to go back to that. The Trojan Bill spawn in private because sometimes, sometimes people like to stalk me. Oh, God. Yeah, the next time someone stalks you, they get stalked upside their head. Oh, God. Yeah. My girlfriend likes to be crazy. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So, uh, so that's Sakara Cliffs for you. Um, Sakara Cliffs does have a cup. That's an Easter egg for Sakara Cliffs. So, um, it's a car drain. If you guys want to have a look at that, you can explore the whole area. Um, you can get kicked a lot, and, uh, yeah, um, that's about it for that. Next up is Bewitched Bayo. Bewitched Bayo has a view, has an interesting area for you, too. Bewitched? Bayo, yeah. So, Bewitched Bayo does have a couple secrets, so, um, Witches? Yeah, well, there's a, there's actually a boss. So, basically, there's a boss that's gonna spawn right there, um, in that area. And to get to it, you simply have to go over, no, or not go in the water, otherwise you'll simply go back to spawn. So that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he spawns, if I'm correct, right here. If we can get to it right this time, you're probably gonna try. It. Yeah, see, <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna fuck up a lot of times. So let's keep at that. Now, Gatarin just spawned. Amazing. 
Okay. Um, so he, that's, uh, that's an Elker Castle, and Elker Castle does have a few areas of stuff, too, so that's pretty cool, I guess. So, yeah. All right. Made it. So basically, the, the, the Bay of the Brewist guy spawns here who dropped this, uh, if I'm correct, I think uh, it's got to be around somewhere at least, that's what I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 around us somewhere. He's got to scroll down a bit. It's really hard to find because it has the weirdest spelling yet, honestly. Yeah, and you got like over a million, two thousand different types of swords. Yeah, no kidding. So <laughs> that's that for you. Um, yeah, so that's that. So okay, so basically that's a witch. There's a witch guy that spawns there, and he'll spawn if a very red chance find card. So yeah. Anyways, moving on to after Bridge Bay up is the Blaze Wave Ruins, and <laughs> dang crazy. <laughs> Blaze Wave Ruins got some revamps, so of course there's going to be a lot of new changes. Probably some secrets y'all probably might notice, but who knows? Oh my god, I'm loving, I'm loving these guys. These guys just look up better than the originals. The originals just looked horrible, honestly. What, they look like two mummies? Yeah, they, they just look like mummies, honestly. Mummies, evil mummies, yeah. brutal mummies. Yep, very much. Toxicated mummies. <laughs> yes, exactly. So basically, <laughs> this is where they spawn at, and um, I think the first, the first guy that spawns here is basically the... Oh my gosh, I got mango, bruh. So, not really much secrets, but I thought I'd just go over it since some of y'all may be curious about the secrets. But, um, there is a, there is a boss that spawns here, too, I think, if I'm correct. Um, you may want to really spawn that, but I think he spawns at one of the pyramids. So, moving on from there. I uh, just realized that was probably a waste of time. So, oh well. Blizzard doesn't have anything. Uh, moving on. Alright, next up is, oh, Elker Castle. Elker Castle has an interesting Easter egg, apart from Elker Tyrant. So, yeah. Um, Elker Tyrant spawns there, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, moving on. Let's just kill this bastard so that we don't have to worry about his death later. We're going <laughs> now, so. Yeah, he spawned, and uh, we're just going to hop right in it. Uh, let's get our best armor on. Better your ass. And so long, you tree hugger. <laughs> so, there's, um, there, that's the, that's the Elker Tyrant for you. I think he drops a weapon. Yeah, he drops a weapon, but I did, don't have it because I didn't get it, so. Because I might have already had it. So, moving on. So, basically, if you go behind this castle over here, most likely, most definitely, will recommend going past this, going to this castle. You will see something that's actually pretty interesting. Probably something you weren't really meant to see. So, but we're going to go over it anyway. So, um, let's hop right into it. What happened? Nothing. Okay. So, basically, the hop, to bit, so basically, you'll see something behind here, behind this castle. Don't know why there's this lonely Elker knight here. He's just a person there, so we're going to delete him. And you'll notice that someone here is having a Thanksgiving birthday party at Balmy. <laughs> so basically, we got Miss Knox over here. Well, I'm just eating here. And then we got Davinzio. Well, old, old Davinzio when he had when he had neon that's spam. So don't ask why he's here. Do you mind? Uh, aren't, aren't you that weirdo, Davinzio? You got a problem with it? Well, I'm here to slay you. You do realize you do realize slaying me this early in the game is stupid, right? How so? <laughs> Well, this is Universe 2, and you don't find me until Universe 10. Can I just say already? No, you, you should spend time in every area to prove yourself. Bruh. Just beat it. You're aren't supposed to be here anyway. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's them for you. Uh, moving on. So, yeah, so we're just going to move on and never talk about her again. again. Um, we're just, we're just going to move on, because that was an interesting uh, Easter egg right there. Not sure why I thought that would be weird. That was interesting. So, there is that's for you. Hey, just... Go over there and steal half of their turkey. <laughs> yeah, okay. That would be funny, though. They'd be looking like, hold up, where the fuck had my turkey go? <laughs> yep, there's your turkey, so. Okay. Hey, and then the, 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 imagine you just standing there. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving? Boy, thanks taking. <laughs> All right, so Trojanville Tree number two doesn't have anything to say in Valor Times, but there is a super but strong time to spawn there, but uh, that's mainly based on, so it doesn't really matter. Blueness Gardens does have an area now, too. Um, it actually does have a few secrets, too. So basically, um, there's a, actually the first, so let's start with the first one. The first one is the mythic boss, I believe, who spawns right around this hill. If Those I'm flowers are pretty. Yep, that's so true. So basically, that's the mythic boss. Mythic boss is a, is a Sakar samurai, and then there's an ultra boss here that's sponsored too. Where basically, tell say, me why those look like little fire hydrants to me. I don't know, but basically, uh, what you got here is the f blooming the last flower. You'll see his matches on the on the on here called the last flowers bo bloomed, and basically that that means this this, this there will be a grass there will be like this thing that spawns here called the uh, there'll be like a pink flower. If you teleport, I teleport to the ultra boss of Empire. Of Empire 2. I oh, know, yeah, Empire 2. 
Uh, I believe that requires a couple levels, a couple, I believe, like, about, instead of sextillion, it's septillion, if I'm correct. Or octillion. I know octillion was, I believe, the... I can't remember. It was, it was a long time ago. So, yeah, that's the, um, that's the ultra boss for you, uh, in that area. Next up is Glowtown Outskirts. Glowtown just doesn't have anything, so... whoopie doo da. So, moving on. Next up is Tuxedo Wasteland. Tuxedo Wasteland doesn't have anything. It's in Awanza Plains, Drazardi Beach. And, yeah. Um, Bl Blindling Village does have another secret, though, too. So, we'll go over Blindling Village. Blindling Village does have one secret, too, in particular. Um, you probably may notice her. You probably may know him some somewhere. Babe, you probably may know her. Uh, you recognize this guy? <laughs> Your wild guy stalker. <laughs> yep, the stalker. So yeah, stalker is here, and there's also another boss here. The another our new button mega boss that spawns here called the. Uh, I think. We've been to this spot. Yeah, the blind of the village. I think it's called. Um, there's gonna be a boss that spawns here. Now new mega boss that spawns here. Um, he was at in a recent Elemental Knights update, if I'm correct. Um, so basically, the Knight of the Earth will spawn around here, and there you have it. So yeah, it's basically a, like an our own common spawn, like correct, or a common spawn. I don't know. It's one of those two. So. Yeah, that's that for you. So, next up is oh, what we got here. Next up is Trojanville Caverns. Trojanville Caverns does have a does have a secret too. Basically, the secret is that there's a high, there's a huge drop chance from there's a huge drop chance from coming from the boss, which is the crystallized shark. Um, you equip, you'll get this thing called I think the Caverns Crystallizer. I'm not sure if I have it. No, I do not have it. Um, do I? No, I don't. But basically, it's basically a six 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 work uh, clock. It's basically a six 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 work clock. Um, crystallizer except blue, so yeah, there's that for you. Moving on to the Tr Forbidian Mountain. Forbidian Mountain has been revamped too, as well as this update, so it has a few new changes too. So let's start with the first one. First one is well, there's like only two secrets here, so the first one is the is the boss, um, or the two the, is the new two bosses. So basically, the Shadow Sage retired from becoming from being the Mystic boss and is now the a secret boss in this area, and you find him, it's actually pretty simple. So yes, that does mean that the, his shard, his, there is weapons aren't as powerful anymore, which honestly sucks. So that basically means he's now going to be a secret. So you may be wondering, where the hell do I find him? Simply just find him over here. On here, just go to here on one top of one of these areas, and you'll be meet, meeted with the Shattered Sage. Um, he does, he does, I don't think he does have any, any, um, Look, I don't think he really has any more, uh, any, any um, any, any, I don't, I don't think he just has, I don't think he has any, um, any, new, any abilities, abilities in here, so, um, really? He's getting hot already? Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, Oof. so, moving on. So, that's basically a Shattered Sage for you. Um, then there's the Shattered Trio, the Shattered Duo, which is basically, right, which basically consists of... The Shattered Demolisher and the Shattered Crusher, or the Shattered Demolisher and Shattered Crusher, if I'm correct. Um, so. Shattered Crusher. And they basically drop these two weapons, the well, same weapons that the Shattered, that the Shattered, that the Shattered Sage originally dropped, before he dropped the staff. But, yeah, so. That's that for you, and, yeah. Um, that's Imagine just dropping a pitchfork in the middle of nowhere. Well, who knew? And then it magically becomes the most powerful sword you have in the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, moving on to there. So next up is Swamp Darkness. Swamp Darkness doesn't have any up, doesn't have any new, um, doesn't have any secrets. Same with... Void um, at Sea. Void at Sea. Um, that's kind of basic. Death's End does have a secret, and it has X himself, Speed Droids. The main man himself. So, Speed Droids does, has, has been revamped too, so, um... This is basically the revamp cells, or this is basically... Bro, did this dude just walk off the thing? Uh, apparently. So, that's basically him. Uh, the XL does spawn here. I believe he's in one of the areas right here. And if I'm correct, he does spawn right around here. Let me take a look real quick. Is um, everybody just dying on their own? No, they're just falling off, that's all. They fell off, for real. So yeah, that's the charity. I think they high. So basically, if you go to this area right here, you will be teleported to a boss known as XL, the Rainbow British. So, yeah, um, that's XL for you. We're just going to go and kill him real quick. He's in the that's head it. Of, he's at the head of your game. Yeah, he's hey, what? Isn't he the one at the head of your game too? Uh, yeah, he's he's one people that helps with that kind of help. Not at the head of your game, one of the statues. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think. I think I, I recognized him. Yeah, I believe he is, actually. I kind of remember. Yeah, I believe so. So, that's him. Anyways, moving on to Mystic's Can. Mystic's Can doesn't have any secrets. George Reveal Trade doesn't have a secret. Same with Grass Public Lands. Ford Miss Doxel doesn't have a secret, too. So, yeah, um, that's quick. Now, we're going to talk about the last thing on here, since this probably is going to be getting a lot of questions about this. So, let's talk about the the, the Sentia bosses and many of their in the Empire 5 bosses. So basically, the Sentis drops a key, so basically, in order to get to the next area, in order to, so basically, the Sentis drops a key of Sentia, which is basically required to defeat this guy over here, which is Trillize, the holder of the Trill Sentia, which requires the key of Sentia, who then drops the key of the Trill Sentia, who, who is, which is basically required to, which basically requires the key of the Quantra Sentis, which basically is the Mega Boss Empire 4, if I'm correct, and... Yeah. And also we got Empire, and then Empire Four, um, and then that basically get dropped. That guy drops the bot, the key to the quad, the quad, the key of the quad which basically drops, uh, which basically is required to fight the bosses in Empire Five, and that's probably about it, honestly. So yeah, or not boss, I'm not boss. I'm not that rigged. Okay, so yeah, um, that's probably gonna be it for us. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a quick video, but uh, want to go over your thought, want to go over these this video quickly, just spot out, just. Talk about the secrets, Easter egg, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, there are going to be more videos like this coming in the future. We're going to have Empire 3, Empire 4, Empire 5, and Empire 6. And, yeah. And thank you for the bunny ears, too. <laughs> okay. We're going to have Brian We're going to have Brian out of this video. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, be sure to check out the game if you want to. And uh, we're head out. Peace. Have a good one.